Hi everyone, let me introduce you to Emmy, who's looking pretty good for a little girl who had two epileptic fits last week. Isn't that right? Not quite sure why she's here rather than Stevie. It's usually Stevie Mouse that helps me with these things. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about my blog and some ideas that I've got for it going forward. Uh, for a start, I'm getting a lot of requests for some more short stories about my cats. I have a lot of cats. I've had a lot of cats in my life. And uh, there are a great deal of stories, fun things, a few tragedies, but mainly fun things that I can recount about them. So my blog over the next couple of months will feature more stories about my older cats. For example, HG, who was my first ever cat, big black cat that came from the cat rescue. And... Uh, basically took over our hearts and then um, Maximilian, Maxi, the ginger kitten that came to share his life much to his disgust and then through the years there's been the girls that we've had, uh, Thomas, another ginger tom but very much a ginger tom and uh, an interesting story about how he came into my life but anyway so more stories about cats will appear in the blog. I'm also going to be doing some podcasts once I get my head around the whole concept of it. And I will be looking to do some interviews with some fellow artists. So if any of you watching this are artists who would like to be interviewed for the podcast, let me know. Just send me a message and we'll see what we can do. Now, the subject of today's blog is to do with health of artists. It's not a very long blog. But it struck me that I've got in some awful habits while working on my pictures. Um, in the studio, I have an easel and I stand. I usually dance, strange but true, to very loud music while I'm working on my acrylic paintings. Um, but at least I'm on the move. With my photo paintings, which is the majority of work that I do, I'm actually spending many, many hours at the computer. OK, I go off on photo shoots uh, and there's a lot of walking involved with those, but they're all sort of really slow walking and lots of looking up and looking down, looking under things, looking behind me to see if there's pictures I've missed. I wrote a blog about that, about looking around while you're out and about so that you don't miss things. Um, but anyway, uh, it's not really exercise, as you call it. But more to the point, when I get back, I maybe have 300 photographs on my camera that I need to transfer onto the computer. And then uh, being me, uh, I am incapable of doing them in batches. I actually have to sit and go through and at least look at every single one and discard the ones that I'm not very pleased with. But what tends to happen is I don't just look at them. I look at them and I go, oh, that looks quite good. And I know what I wanted to do with that in my head when I took the photo. And I actually sit and before I know what I'm doing, I'm working on the picture, I'm putting textures in it, I'm changing some of the colors, trying to bring out the story. Um, and I can spend hours like that. I used to work as a consultant and I used to write a lot of very long reports and um, I would do exactly the same thing. I would be lost for hours while I was writing. I forget to eat. I forget to drink. Um, I don't even notice the things that are going on around me, which is how the boys have managed to chew things to pieces and I didn't know they were even doing it. Um, at times, if he's away, Barnet Boy has even texted me to say it's lunchtime, eat something, because otherwise I, I forget to eat. So I was thinking very much about the health of artists and, and how it's wonderful to sit creating the work. And mentally, it may be uplifting and, and emotionally, it might be fulfilling to do this work. But equally, my poor arthritic knees and uh, my back, and let's not go any further, uh, suffer with sitting at the computer with so, for so much. I also, as a, a, an aside, have had terrible trouble sleeping in the last six months or so. And I've tried all of the various uh, techniques to sleep. And, and uh, obviously, I meditate and I uh, give myself Reiki treatments, uh, et cetera, et cetera. But nothing seems to work, including not eating late in the evening, not drinking coffee in the evening, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. All of the ideas haven't worked. Well, I was reading a review of Fitbit. 
These are the bracelets that go around your wrists that monitor your steps. I've got a chum who's very much into this and does her 10,000 steps every day and her Fitbit monitors her progress. It's not something that's ever interested me, but what caught my eye in the article was the fact that the Fitbit does monitor your sleep patterns. It does various other things that I actually got more and more interested in as I looked into it. So I thought I'd buy myself one. So I thought it might be quite fun, having bought one yesterday, to open the box in front of you guys and show you what's in there and what it's supposed to achieve. And then at a time in the future, I can come back and say how well I've been getting on with it. Uh, this video will actually be posted in my blog tonight, by the way. So uh, you'll actually be able to see it there. Anyway, this is the box. I bought a Fitbit Charge 2. It cost me £129. Uh, I have no idea what that is in, in uh, other currencies, I have to say. Probably what, with a dreadful exchange rate at the moment, about €140. Euros. I don't know. I usually get it the wrong way around. I think I've done it again. Anyway, Fitbit Charge 2. So why did I buy it? Well, to tell you what it says on the box, it counts your steps. It covers the, it counts the distance you've carried, carried covered the calories you've burned and the floors you've climbed i find that fascinating the idea of climbing floors but anyway i think they mean going up steps um but anyway i not so much of an issue for me it has to be said it will monitor when you run go on a bike do weight lifting and other types of exercise well dream on chums because none of those are happening and it's not going to be used for that it's got auto exercise recognition I'm rather hoping it's going to recognize this little bit of exercise, which is me bringing my coffee up. I wonder how many calories I use doing that. Um, it's customizable with interchangeable bands. You can have different color bands. This one is a lovely lavender, of course, being me. Um, but you can get lots of different color bands. So, hey, we can have a different color band for every outfit. Perhaps not. It has a long battery life, but actually that's about five days. I don't know if that's good or not, but it doesn't sound a lot to me, but there you go. Um, now we get into the areas that it did interest me. It actually continuously monitors your heart rate. It, it tracks your sleep. So it tracks when you're in deep sleep, light sleep, um, when you wake up, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, and basically it will give you an overview of your general health and in my case with a bit of luck my sleep patterns and what it is that's happening at what time that's making my disturbed sleep uh, and yes it could be the dogs barking but actually there's more to it than that uh, something that i have no interest in at all is it will also pick up call text and calendar alerts from your mobile phone should you be daft enough to want to sync it so that you can actually be pestered everywhere by your notifications as opposed to being able to shove your phone somewhere and forget about it you know what i'm saying it all runs with an app i have not yet downloaded the app that is yet to come that joy um but it actually um syncs with an app that you can run on your computer or on your smartphone etc etc according to this it will enable me to see charts and graphs being an ex-researcher, I find that quite exciting that I can look at graphs and charts and see how I'm doing. You can connect with friends. Okay, refer back to the comment I made a while ago about hiding somewhere without being bothered. You can earn badges. Way to go. Always wanted to be able to earn badges by wearing a Fitbit. Um, and you can log your food and your weight loss and more. Well, Whilst I should be worried about weight loss, that's not the primary purpose of this. You can actually set this gizmo to give you a nudge every hour to make you get up off your seat and move around. And in the absence of Barnet Boy doing the same, this could work. In fact, if Barnet Boy is watching this, be very careful because this could replace some of your roles. Think on, mate. Anyway, so what's in the box? Let's have a look. So, oh, there's a bit of tape across the bottom. Uh, that slides out, which leaves me with another box. I'm hoping it's not going to be one of those Chinese dolls that just keeps opening down. Now, how do you open this? Okay, so it's got a flap and it opens, and that's what we see when we open it. So let's take out the watch to start with. Whoops. So this looks nice. 
it looks enormous held up to the camera but it's quite nice it's a lavender colored strap and i went for a rose rose gold finish so if you can see on the side it's actually rose gold there uh, i deliberately picked this model as well because it actually has a watch type strap i read some of the reviews and it said the reviews said that sometimes the fitbit was difficult to fix on and get it to stay on and i didn't want that hassle i just wanted something that went on and i could forget about it so this is the fitbit which at the moment i can't even undo the strap to get out probably because i'm being ham fisted there we go so that's opened out and then it goes on your wrist a little bit further up your wrist than you might normally wear it because it's going to be monitoring your heart so i'm not going to fix that on now but that's where it's going to fit next to my can you see that next to my note next to my uh prayer bracelets and various other things i have lurking so it sits quite nicely there i'm concerned it might drive me mad in bed if i'm wearing it in bed but given that i want it for sleep monitoring i've got to wear it in bed at least until i get some sort of uh, answers the back of it has a sensor on it it's still got the cellophane on it but there's a sensor on the back which presumably is where it does its monitoring so what else has it got in this large box well there's a little envelope Oops. Okay, in the envelope is, and the winner is, oh, it's a little bit of paper that just says where to go to fit it up. It gives you the instructions of where to go online to fit it up. Funnily enough, fitbit.com setup makes sense if you think about it. Right, so then we have safety instructions and limited warranty. Okay going well so far okay it's in lots of different languages and it is basically just can't even find a language i understand and i speak three um ah <laughs> it's got all sorts of safety instructions that look like the sort of thing that we don't really want to know about at this stage oh and you can pay extra to have an extended warranty well there you go okay so that was useful what else is in this box hopefully some instructions no there's another box oops that's it that big box is now empty packaging gone nuts that is what's in here then Oop. i broke a thumbnail at the weekend and i have to say of all the nails to lose sometimes a thumbnail leaves you a bit short of things to oh, pick to open things up right there we go little box oh, okay it's the charger that's it a bit worried about that bit of kit i take it that's where the thing goes in and it's got a usb port and that is that so there are absolutely no instructions whatsoever with the box my first thinking on that is what happens if you're not computer literate um and wouldn't know where to go to set it up it's um it's certainly not something that looks obviously straightforward so uh, that's uh, for anybody buying it who who doesn't know what to do next i can imagine my mum getting in touch with me and saying i bought myself this fitbit and my heart sinking through the floor thinking oh no how i'm going to talk her through this to actually get it up and running so it's a shame it hasn't got the instructions mind you i dare say there are endless uh, instructional videos on youtube which of course is one of the great uses of youtube those of you who just use it to watch uh films and cartoons and yes i watch those too or maybe catch up with uh, uh the jo latest jonathan pie uh outpouring of angst um there are also a load of instructional videos so uh, if you ever want to learn how to do anything try youtube first as a source anyway so there we go so exciting to get it down to that from all that packaging uh even more exciting to actually charge it up and get it up and running and i will give you feedback on it but the aim of the exercise is to actually get me up and moving around rather than sitting still for hours and hours and hours at a time and hopefully getting a solution to what's going on with why my sleep pattern is so disturbed um anyway so um I'll report back more on that when I've actually got something to show you and something to tell you about as to whether it was worth the money. Um, anyway, in the meantime, I have a blog to write, so I need to get off and do that. I'm disappointed Stevie Mouse hasn't joined me. I can see her over on the uh, 
sofa over on my right. She's actually watching the rain falling because it's done nothing but rain since I got home. So anyway, um, that's the end of this uh, video. Remember uh, that I will be doing some podcasts in the future. Uh, I can prove it because I've bought books on how to use a podcast, make a, create a podcast, so I must mean it. I bought the perfect one for me, Podcasting for Dummies. So I've uh, got my name on it. So um, that's going to be happening. So if anybody would like to be interviewed, you don't have to be an artist particularly, but somebody who does sort of arty type things, maybe a writer or a poet, uh, I don't know, paper mache, anything you like, if it's got a slightly arty bent to it, uh, then uh, I'd be happy to interview you for my forthcoming podcast series. Um, uh, and we'll have to see how we get on with that. So anyway, thank you for watching, those of you who have, and uh, look out for my blog later today where I talk a little bit more about artists keeping healthy. Okay, bye for now.